former WWE manager Dutch Mantel weighed in on Mustafa Ali's recent arguments with Vince McMahon. In a recent development, WWE superstar Mustafa Ali requested his WWE release on social media. However, Sean Ross Sapp of Fightful Select later broke the news that WWE was not granting Ali his release. This week on Sportskeeter Wrestling Smack Talk, Dutch Mantel and Bill After shared their views on the volatile situation between Ali and WWE. Vanto was not in favor of Mustafa Ali's new gimmick and detailed that Vince McMahon must have been really annoyed with him. Here's what Mantle had to say about the situation. Vince got mad at him. That's what he did. He's just peace said as the guy. And we said when he did the interview that it was the wrong thing to do. We don't need any more divisiveness in this country. It's his idea, but yeah, that's the wrong kind of heat. That heat won't sell pay-per-views. It won't sell tickets. It won't do anything. It's an uncomfortable feeling if he tries to go with that. Vince told him, no, and they probably had words and Vince got mad at him. Wrestling journalist Bill After also voiced his opinion about the situation. After noted that while Ollie's request was sincere, his decision to take to social media might not have gone down well with WWE executives. Perhaps this starts a war between the executives at WWE and Mustafa Ali. Because again, this all played out on social media. I'm sure Mustafa Ali was extremely sincere with what he was doing and whatever argument he had with Vince McMahon. But maybe Vince is taking this to a new step where he's like, this is something we should do. I wouldn't put it past them, but also keep in mind they are a publicly traded company, so you have to be really careful about what's going out there in public. After said, After also suggested that Vince McMahon could be setting a strict precedent with Ollie. The Rock will reportedly not be showing up at the upcoming Royal Rumble Premium Live event. WWE is all set to present the 2022 edition of one of their most anticipated shows of the year, Royal Rumble. Next week on January 29th live from the Dome at America's Center in St. Louis, Missouri. According to Ringside News, the Brahma Bull will not be at the show. They were told by a tenured member of the WWE creative team that he was never even discussed as a possibility for the event. Ever since Roman Reigns turned heel and debuted the Tribal Chief character on SmackDown, fans have been wanting to see a feud between him and his real-life cousin The Rock. Having held the Universal Championship for over 500 days now, Reign seems unstoppable and fans are hoping to see the People's Champion return to face his bloodline. WWE has been dropping several hints of the same, but the clash hasn't been made possible due to the Great One's busy Hollywood schedule. Speaking to Brandon Davis of ComicBook.com last year, The Rock mentioned that while he's not sure if he has another title run left in him, he didn't rule out another match. I don't know if I have another title run, considering I'm the People's Champion, but I don't know if it's another title run. I think possibly, you know, there might be another match down the road. It would have to make sense, said The Rock. Roman Reigns has also not dodged the questions about a match against the WWE legend. Speaking on the C Media podcast, he hinted that WrestleMania 39 in Hollywood would be a better stage for this dream bout. Do we do it now or do we wait until we're in his backyard of Hollywood? It just adds to the narrative. It adds another dynamic to space speculate on. Obviously, at NT Stadium, Dallas, home of the Cowboys, 100,000 plus fans can be in attendance. That's obviously an awesome scenario. But SOFI Stadium, brand new facility out there in Lahem, that makes quite the argument in its own right, said Roman Reigns. The Tribal Chief is scheduled to defend his Universal title at WWE Royal Rumble 2022 against Seth Rollins. As for WrestleMania 38, Brock Lesnar is rumored to be his opponent for the show. WWE legend The Undertaker is reportedly scheduled to be at the upcoming Royal Rumble pay-per-view. At WrestleMania 36, he fought against AJ Styles in a cinematically styled Boneyard match. Later that year, at Survivor Survivor Series 2020, on the 30th anniversary of his WWE debut, the Phenom bid his final farewell to his in-ring career, officially retiring. According to the latest report by PW Insider, the Phenom will be in attendance at the show in St. Louis, Missouri, on January 29th. The report further adds that while anything is possible, he is most likely attending the show because his wife, WWE superstar Michelle McCool is set to compete in the Women's Royal Rumble match. WWE could also bring him in to film some content for the WWE Network. PWInsider.com has confirmed The Undertaker is slated to be in attendance at the 2022 Royal Rumble in St. Louis next week. The Undertaker is undoubtedly one of the greatest WWE superstars ever to step foot inside the squared circle. A career that began in 1990 lasted a massive three decades during which the Phenom earned the fans respect for his unparalleled dedication to the business. With WrestleMania 38 set to take place in Dallas this year, 
fans want to see the Phenom take his rightful place in the WWE Hall of Fame. His reported appearance at Royal Rumble this weekend might have something to do with that. For those unaware, WWE usually announces the Hall of Fame inductees around this time of the year. But could he surprise us all and enter the Royal Rumble this year for one last hurrah? Only time will tell. Comment down and let us know your thoughts on the Phenom. Is he the greatest WWE superstar of all time? Braun Strowman has requested Bray Wyatt to join him in the tag team match that he will be a part of this weekend. Strowman will team up with another former WWE star and Wyatt family member. Eric Redbeard, in a match against Enzo and Hall of Famer Bully Ray. The tag team match will take place on the 22nd of January 2022 for Northeast Wrestling's WrestleFest 26 show. On the latest Control Your Narrative weekly show, Strowman asked Wyatt to be there at this weekend's show as a friend or foe. You know, you guys have heard that noise before, right? If you haven't seen what I'm talking about, just type in YouTube when you get done watching us. Wind him and he's up to something, Strowman added. He flashed a graphic of Eric and I versus Enzo and Bubba this weekend in Poughkeepsie, so, friend or foe, Windem, show up, come to Poughkeepsie, answer your damn phone, anything, you wanna get these, come get him, you wanna come be my brother, come on, I'm sure Eric would love to see you as well as the rest of the wrestling universe, so, yeah, there's that. Apart from Cher, Redbeard, Bully Ray and Enzo, AEW stars Malachi Black, Lucha Brothers, Eddie Kingston, and Thunder Rosa will also be a part of the event. Wyatt was let go by WWE in July last year, but the former Universal Champion has yet to feature in any pro wrestling promotion. He has been working on a movie project, which a recent report confirmed. The last we heard was that he had the movie gig and didn't want to come back so soon. Whether he comes back here or Impact, I don't know at this point, said Wrestling Observer's Dave Meltzer. Wyatt's last match was nine months ago at WrestleMania 37 when he faced Randy Orton on night two of the show. Roman Reigns was in action after tonight's episode of WWE SmackDown went off the air. Following his attack on Seth Rollins at the end of the show, the two rivals were on opposite sides of a dark six-man tag team match. The main event of SmackDown saw Rollins team with Kevin Owens to defeat the Usos by disqualification due to the Tribal Chief hitting a Superman punch on his former S.H.I.E.L.D. brother. Once the show ended, the Bloodline attacked the two Raw stars before Big E made the save. This led to the former WWE Champion teaming with Rollins and Owens against Reigns and the Usos. Following some back and forth as described by Twitter user Austin Marr, Roman Reigns was left laying with a curb stomp as Big E, Seth Rollins, and Kevin Owens defeated the bloodline to send the fans home happy. One of the Usos most likely took the fall, based on WWE's strong presentation of the Universal Champion. SmackDown started with the Usos bringing out Roman Reigns, who has broken Brock Lesnar's record to become the longest reigning Universal Champion in history. Seth Rollins then proceeded to interrupt him. The title challenger named Drop John Moxley, referring to him as Mox, during the segment, possibly as a nod to the current AEW star who returned this week after overcoming addiction. This eventually led to the aforementioned tag team match being booked. After Rollins and Kevin Owens won by disqualification, the Usos were barred from ringside for Reigns' universal title defense at the Royal Rumble. Had the SmackDown Tag Team Champions won, the match would have been called off entirely. The sixth member of the post-show dark match, Big E, showed up to accompany Kofi Kingston as he triumphed over Madcap Moss. He could win the men's Royal Rumble match next Saturday. If he does, the former WWE Champion could face Rollins or Reigns at WrestleMania. Do you think Roman Reigns will lose the Universal Championship at the Royal Rumble? Leave your predictions in the comments section below.